In this video, I'll discuss how to single-handed dock a non-dock twin rudder boat with no prop walk and no prop wash. Previously, I made a few videos talking about my experience of dealing with prop walk in the narrow fairway. If you are interested, please check them out. Recently, I had a chance to sail two twin rudder Benetos with sail drive, 35 and 38 respectively. They have two rudders, one on port and the other on the starboard side. Since the rudders are not directly behind the propeller combined with the sail drive, the boats have no prop wash and the prop walk is close to none. No prop walk and prop wash mean no maneuverability in a complete stop. In short, single-handed docking of twin rudder boat follows exactly the same routine, but it needs more precision in terms of where to put the stern. If wind or current is in play, being able to quickly tie one dock line is the key. This video will show you how I cope with these differences and improve my own single-handed docking. Number 1. Twin rudder boat gains steerageway at a very low speed, little over 1 knot, thanks in part to its increased blade area. The slow speed with steerageway is key to the next step. Number 2. I have to dock more precisely by putting the stern close enough to the finger while the boat is still in motion. The key here is in motion, otherwise I'm stuck. Without prop walk and prop wash, I couldn't kick the stern over in a complete stop. Some people suggest throwing the stern run over the cleat and secure it while still on board. It might work, I just motored out and had a do over. Second time is a charm, I was able to get off the boat. Number 3. Prepare your dock lines. I found out I need all three lines, especially the spring line secured in the center cleat closer to the boat's pivot point. I led the bow line back to the center of the beam. After I got off the boat, I grabbed two dock lines. One is always the spring line. Depending on the situation, pilings, neighbor boats, wind and current, the other one is either bow or stern line. I tied the spring line first. Of course, if you have the bow thruster installed, or the help either on board or on the dock, you don't have to go through these troubles. In terms of undocking, Without prop walk, undocking stern first is as easy as it could be. Just remember there is no prop wash either. When you turn the wheel and push forward the throttle, the bow won't turn immediately. Only after the boat moves forward a little. Basically, the standing turn needs slightly bigger space. Okay, that's all for today's video. For your information, I really like twin rudder boat in sailing. I'll see you next time.